Mother Teresa and I'm continuing with part two of my sharing of my experience on earth and when I've died. So I'm continuing when I died. I realized that the God that I believed in, the God that I trusted, the God that I placed my faith in, the God that was my strength, the God that was my support, the God that I believed supported me in this world with everything that I'd seen and with everything that I'd experienced does not exist. That in truth I am all that. I am support. I am strength. I am trust. And I alone am able to stand as God, as one, as the image and likeness of God in this world, as one and equal with and as God, and that I am not separate from myself. I realized that the religion of Christianity, or the religion of God, or the religion of any faith in this world, that has a God that exists separate from each human being is in truth the God of ourselves. That we are that. We are all that. And that we have separated ourselves through such beliefs and through such faiths. It was quite a shock for me to realize when I died because I dedicated and committed my entire life, I defined myself as who I am according to serving God, serving God an expression separate from myself. And Jesus actually walked up to me in the dimensions, I met Jesus and I actually fell down to my knees and I just bowed my head and Jesus just said, stand up, what are you doing? You're equal to me. You're one with me. And I was confused. I did not understand. And so my process began in the realization that my belief and my faith in a God expression separate from myself was not true. That that belief and that faith in the separation of myself was actually all me. And I did not realize that. And so in the dimensions for quite some time, well not for a long time, I was saddened. I was disappointed because I did not trust that, that, that experience inside myself. Why did I not follow that question I had asked? Why is God, why is God allowing this in this world? Why is God not here? My answer was relatively correct in realizing that it's because of human beings. It's not because of God. It's just that human beings haven't realized themselves, haven't taken responsibility for themselves, haven't stood up in the realization that heaven on earth actually exists inside them as them, just as I hadn't. And that I had been presenting the incorrect message and approach to all of humanity and for that I ask sincere forgiveness and I'm here to tell you or to express to you and to share with you that I've realized that each one of us is actually the manifested expression of the image and likeness of God that we are equal and one with God, that existence is equal and one with who we are, and that we have the ability to make a difference and to change this world. If only we realize this and we live this and we apply this as the living word, as a living expression of the living word in every moment, as we live the words we speak, as one and equal with who we are, in the realization that we are one and equal with all of existence, imagine this world. 
imagine the change that will take place if all of humanity exist in oneness and equality with each other, as each other, yet we all exist in our individual expressions within oneness and equality. It's not that religion has failed. It's that religion has never been lived and applied. It's that human beings have not realized the words, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. We are the living Word. We are but words. We are words communicating. The words we speak is a reflection of who we are. Now imagine if the words we speak as I communicate with you, that we live these words as one with who we are. Imagine the expression in this world. That would make the difference. That is the answer. We are the answer to change this world. And that is what must be realized. And that is what I'm coming here to share. I, as Mother Teresa, to have you realize that we are required to stand up. We have the ability. We are required to wake up. We have the ability. We are required to stand up. We have the ability. We are required to take responsibility. We have the ability. We in the dimensions have stood up and have taken responsibility and are here now through this interdimensional portal communicating to you to speak as a living word as one with who we are, to have human beings realize if we as, rea as we have realized the oneness and equality of who we are and each one of us are. This is Mother Teresa saying hello and goodbye for a moment and to take what I have spoken into consideration. Have a look at yourself, have a look at your world, have a look what you are accepting and allowing because it is only through our acceptances and allowances that, with the, that this world has become what it is. Thank you.